Wolfhead, get your ass in here. <laughs> Wolfhead. <laughs> my bro, my ombre. What are you doing out there? Home slice bread slice <laughs> dog. <laughs> <laughs> bro, potato chip. <laughs> bro, 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 my bro. ass. Hear us for like a minute because it's, it's the delay. Bro, bro, bro ski. He's just gonna be assaulted by our friendship. So, <laughs> all right, myth and bliss. No. Ask me guys something. Can I ask a legit question, real quick. Yeah, they're natural. Mm -hmm. How do you guys draw blood? Uh, uh I, make I mean, my blood, and then I make it shiny. Say that again? What? I make a red splotch and then I make it shiny. Ah! I mean, I cr I, I kind of treat it like goo. Yeah, it is goo. I was goo. Um, it's in water, you know. It yeah. is I, was I mean, granted, I was blood- oh, so, I was trying to answer her question, damn it! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> you, you right. <laughs> 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 I, I mean, yeah, I treat it like goo or slime, even though technically it doesn't. Well, I guess it kind of does, so you get enough of it in your hands. It, it kind of acts like a thin slime. Okay. Right. It does. I'm just, I'm and just slime. asking. Blood is thicker than Ninja water. specifically requested that Kapala have blood on his feet. Uh, Looks is drawing a D&D &D character. Yeah. Oh, so he's gone out doing some so, stuff. Yeah, no. So Ninja's character, Kapala, he's a tabaxi, which means he's a cat. So he's a furry, right? But he's also a monk, right? He's also a monk. And I'll take your word for it. The shtick with him, though, is that he's got no hands. Like, literally, his hands just don't exist. They're just stubs. So he uses his feet to attack. I feel so bad for this one. Oh, don't be. He'll kill you. He's a- he's- he- he, uh, he's a... Not a war criminal. He used to be a general. But how do you live with no hands? You, you kick people. You beat Kapala. You beat Kapala. Kapala you can get grab better. things. With his, yeah, Kapala can grab things with his tail and hit things with his feet. <laughs> that's how he gets better at life. That's fun. He, he ventures. <laughs> he ventures with my half orc character, who's basically the cook, oh. and nothing else. <laughs> She's the best cook. It's okay, like, uh, how do you live? You get better at life. Yeah, <laughs> I give them the best pancakes, okay? Real people who don't have hands, and they live. Yeah. I know, Lux, and I feel bad for them as well, a... because they have no hands. It makes me sad. What? What kind of a big cat is he supposed to be based on? He's a cheetah. He's a cheetah. Okay. He's a cheetah. That makes sense. Cheetahs are well reversed in in their uh in speed and such it fits well for him being a fighter. I was gonna uh, say, are you gonna say they're fast? Are you gonna say cheetahs are fast? Cheetahs gotta go fast. <laughs> I just world. want to point out there was a I mean there was a there was a, a picture I saw and it says who would win and it was like really hyping it up and it was like a cheetah versus an F1 car and someone replied with this is literally just sadist porn for everyone who doesn't know anything about cars. Those are like the only people who would get surprised at this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well. I'm so just yeah, like, why? Because even I was just like, why are you doing this? This is cruel. You're giving the animal oh. depression. This is also part of a deal that I made with Ninja. Because he gave me 50 bucks when I said that I was going to go dye my hair. And he said, no, don't worry, it's a commission. It's not me giving you money for spending <laughs> expenses ah! or anything. It's just giving you money for a commission. And I go, all right, what fuck, all right, what the fuck do you want? <laughs> Commissioning hey, you and change your hair color. No, I, uh, I just love how loud you were with the... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I, love how, I love how perfectly timed that was. Wolfhead joined and Lux was like, the fuck are you doing here? After we all just <laughs> called Wolfhead to join us. It's like, all right, damn, I guess I should just leave then. Fuck me. Fuck you, Wolfhead. We can request that you join some more. I could just now imagine, like, Wolfhead just turning away while Simple Plan's untitled this point in the background. <laughs> How does that song go? It, it's not I'm Just a Kid, right? No, it's the no, other no. one. How could this happen to me? <laughs> You're way oh, too good at that. You are way too good at that. Me, I, I see. Where are you? Oh, 
And I'm so, so sorry. sorry. <laughs> cannot sleep. I cannot dream tonight. No, listen to that song without music in it. Just lyrics, no music. He legit <laughs> sounds like that. That's not an exaggeration. That is how he sounds. I'm looking at shit up right now, right now. Do it. Wolfhead, you're about to have your mind blown when you realize this man made a hit song singing like that. Blink 182. What song was that? That was um, down. Down, down, yeah. down, down, down. With no, uh, down with no <laughs> lyrics. Blink-182. The sky is falling down. That's the best. Down, down. down. What? I love that song. Wheel of Steel, song? thank you for subscribing. Because it's an older it's song. It's a song. Uh, it's one of those, like, songs you would dance to at high school prom. Yeah. It's one of the older songs. Yeah. Baby, are Blink you down, 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 No need to worry, even if the sky is falling down. Okay, that's actually no, yeah, a good I remember song, uh, Just Dance on the Connect. No, yeah. Just Dance on the Connect. That was one of my favorite songs to do uh, Just Dance to. Just remember, was, Dance. That was, like, the only, that was like the only Connect game that people gave a shit about was Just Dance. Dude, I will fight any one of you fucks in fucking Rock Band. Or... Oh my god! I would. I was about to go on a rant. I was about to go on a rant, but the video was playing, but there was no music, and then all I heard was, "And I'm so sorry." I'm like, what? "I'm so sorry." <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh the shit out of me, dude. Jesus Christ! No, the power of so Tom's sorry. voice. <laughs> all right, so I can't. I can't go on my rant right now. I have to listen to this. I actually have to sit through this. <laughs> I'm contractually <laughs> obligated to sit through this. It's gonna be like the hunchback of Notre Dame. Yeah. That was a fun night, though. Like I got a point to make, but first I must indulge myself in abject stupidity. <laughs> now to go start thinking for roasting. I just want to say, like, you guys want the weirdest song? Not the weirdest song. Um, I don't know why this song popped into my head, but you guys all know The Killers, right? Yeah. Vaguely. You, you, if you don't know the name, you probably know their song, Mr. Brightside. The song that is weirdly still popular after 15 years. Um, that was Electric Light Orchestra. Uh, um, they, he also made a song, and it's possibly one of the coolest songs I've heard from this band called Spaceman, and it turns out uh, the lead singer actually died, and then he wrote this song to comment upon what he saw. Uh, Rick? Well, so he died Rick. and then wrote the song? Well, yeah, after he came back. About it. Yeah, no, after, after he came back. I mean... Oh, oh I was joking. All yeah, right, of course. So I'm gonna continue no, doing I mean... This. Sorry. I mean, I mean if... No, you're good. If you want to be serious, you're technically friends with a zombie. It's me. I died that once. That is technically accurate. So I found a place yeah, where I can die. find potions, and I'm grinding the hell out of it. Yeah, Do it. Nice. Yeah, I yeah. fucking so needed to take on the this boss. I don't even know if it's like the final boss of this game or what. If it's the last time you play the game, that's the last one you fight, then technically that could be the final boss. You just quit the game after... After one of them, that was the final boss. Am I'm, I wrong? I'm, I'm back. I am one minute and 40 seconds into this two minute and 30 second song. I can't do it anymore. I think <laughs> I've... <laughs> I think no. I've... We broke him. We broke him. Sorry. Wolf head. What do, what do you need from me, Lux? Lux the Moose. Would you like my own personal cover of it? No. <laughs> no, Lux, we need to hear this. I this it just for you. We need to hear this, Lux. <laughs> Unleash your right vocals. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, Where are you? Good at that. Sorry, um, <laughs> dude. I'm imagining that meme where you're doing like the phaser voice, and you're just getting more, and a Lux pony is just getting horribly distorted. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Did you know? I heard everything, dude. It's like 
There's a, there's a song where somebody whispers into the mic, this is not the end. And then he just starts yelling, Tide always may this right through me. I'm like, oh my God, get me out of here. Dude. I'm cringing. That is macaroni. Is I can't watch the stream well, because my head. internet is fucky. So I'm just going to sit and chat. Are oh, your computers being a bitch? What? Being is a your bitch? computer being a bitch? Being a little bitch. Your computer's being a little bitch. Somebody yeah, call me a little, little bitch. No, your no, computer. Your computer. Your hey, computer. Yeah, my computer is being a little bitch. I was your about to be like, he's being a bitch. My no, no, internet no. is being a bitch, more specifically. Yeah, but I was computer, about to be like, your, your yeah. computer is being a little bitch, like some bananas. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, um, I was expecting you to go in a completely different direction. <laughs> really? Or, you know. you... And knowing you have the both. battle. I'm gonna call Wolfhead a bitch. No, <laughs> don't do it. It's not Are worth gonna, it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Are you gonna? Wolf don't head? do it. It's Wolf not head? worth it. Wolfhead? Listen here. Listen here. <gasps> Wolfhead. What's gonna happen? What do you Wolfhead? I don't like it. I'm looking for I don't care that you broke your elbow. <laughs> Listen here, you little shit. <laughs> I hear one more motherfucker talking about my elbow. I swear to God, I'm gonna write an angry letter to my senator. And then you're here for me. <laughs> you have your own senator. Wait, a caring <laughs> senator? He Those exist. <laughs> I'm gonna write an angry letter to somebody. He's gonna be Lux in a fucking second. No, you're saying it's the same. Write an angry I could, letter to her. I'll talk it up with her. I could say one small stereotype joke about about ours that doesn't necessarily get political. Ours cares because he came from Canada. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. True Chad, story, by the way. Don't be weird about it. <laughs> yeah, no, true story. He really is Canadian. Weird or is he, normal, he was born weird. Canadian. Chaos is the natural yeah, order of things. More potions. Who are you, the fucking Joker from the film The Joker? Yes. I mean, no, chaos I only exists. Chaos only Joker. exists though when you don't know I how how the something Joker. works. Then it becomes or then it becomes ordered just because you know it. Ooh. I was actually today. It was pretty funny. The only oh, time where it links. Never done before. The world is full of shit. Yeah. End of discussion. That's the tweet. You could fill a library with all the things you don't know, and in fact, they do. They call them libraries. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Jeez, I like that right? a lot, actually. Has anyone else ever looked at something so distant in the sky, and then you realize the only evidence that that thing ever existed is the fact that we see it's raining light from a million years ago right now, and that when that disappears, there will never. Not only can we never reach this thing, even though it exists, but future generations will never know it exists. Yes, I have been high before. Okay. Aeon, you are fucking galaxy braining me right now. I say, no, I just want to point out. Okay, let me let me blow your mind even further with the power of macrocosmic gravity. I wasn't going right. at all. I'm gonna make another point. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, so yeah, I thought that exact thing, but here's the thing: uh, when you say the only proof that it ever existed, the fact that we witnessed it, it's like really no. That's only the proof on this planet that it was ever witnessed. If there's other, and I'm pretty sure there are. I mean, statistically, there has to be other beings elsewhere in the universe could have also witnessed this thing and we would never know that they had witnessed its existence so we all shared in witnessing the existence of this thing that was unknown but we'll never know the other people who witnessed it counterpoint you know what i have to the, say to that if you know what cosmic if you know what a cosmic event horizon is that makes that all the moot point spin no lover to answer your already? question why i'm going back and forth it's because there's a chest that um opens up a um a potion so i'm grinding on gaining some of those for the final boss you know what I have to say to what you said, Myth? So, where are you? And I. <laughs> I'm imagining Lux is just flying through space around all the galaxies. Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> she has like a little AM FM Walkman and she has a Blink 182 tape in it and she's just playing that one song where? over and over again. Hello, Danny. Right. Where are you? Um, but no, uh, if you, uh, the point of the cosmic event horizon is basically this. There are two universes. There's the observable un well, there are three. There's the unobservable universe, which is everything beyond what we can see, and I'll get to what that means. 
which is related to the last one, but we'll get to that. There's the observable universe, and there's what we call the reachable universe. Believe it or not, 96.4 of what you see around you is already forever inaccessible, God even if we could move faster than this, even if we could travel at light speed. 96.4% uh, yeah. of what you see in the sky is forever unaccessible. This is Shall because, um, this is because uh, when we took a photograph of the furthest galaxy that we ever found, uh, we found something called uh, the cosmic the cosmic event horizon, and that's relative to wherever you are, and it has to do with the fact that the further you get away no, from us, or hosting. Um, the more no, you're good. The more because of the rapid expansion of the universe, the more space time kind of goes further and further away from you. So that galaxy that we snapped a photograph of was its last moment of existence before it started moving away from us at faster than the speed of light. So even without moving at all, technically speaking, these galaxies are not moving at all in this in this one sense. They are still moving away from us faster than light. When their light fades, there will, you can't even find anything, not even radiation mass will reveal their existence. And they did say there will be a time in the universe where there will be nothing. There will just be our galaxy and an impossibly vast and deep and empty void. And there will be no evidence that any of the shit we see in the night sky was ever even once there. I just want a girl. Okay, bro. I know that. But I mean, it doesn't completely render what I said moot, because my basic point was, we can witness this thing in its last moment, but that doesn't mean we're the only ones that ever witnessed it. It could have been witnessed from other perspectives. I mean, yeah, but eventually they'll suffer the same problem of observation. Okay. And they also can't communicate with us. It's not- I'm not sure that really rendered my point moot, it's more like... I I'm just saying, I was just, cream, saying a, I, I was just saying that as a- theory, I was just saying it as a playful thing, don't worry. the ice cream's gonna be completely gone, it's like, that doesn't change the fact that you didn't taste the ice cream. Well, yeah, no, but that- <laughs> I, I don't think that Wait, no, really works. Um, but no, I was saying that as more of a playful thing, sweetie. Okay. Man, good, good to know you. Good to know you take your fun, though. But um, I want to. I'm, I'm saying is it doesn't. But what I'm saying is like it doesn't matter what at what point of observation in the universe you are. Your cosmic event horizon will move with you. But eventually, you will get to a maroon point where there will be nothing accessible to anyone. Bro, I just want a grill. Do you really? You want a grill? Yeah. What do you want a grill? I want. I, I don't know. So I've been craving bratwurst lately. I what can't about grill bear grills? Sweaters, but I like grills. Oh. You're gonna grill a fucking bratwurst? That doesn't bother me. What? Have you never grilled bratwurst? You never grilled, you never grilled bratwurst? bratwurst before? No, I never grilled. I never grilled anything in my whole life. I'm just, I'm I'm never the the what is wrong with you? Three ladies in this entire <laughs> chat out of this like, house. Wait, you never out of this bratwurst. Christian Minecraft server. <laughs> <laughs> I am the owner of this Christian Minecraft server. I never had a bratwurst that wasn't grilled. How else do people cook bratwurst? <laughs> I've cooked bratwurst before. On not a grill? I once uh, had it baked on a bar pan. That was pretty nice. Mm. Oh. I, uh, a lot of the time when we cook brats, we just put them boiling in a pot. Mm. Uh, but. On good nights when everybody's around and you know we're at the cabin and everybody's One grilling more. at it, and then we grill the brats. On. God, now grilling sounds really good. Yeah. That's why I said I just want to grill. I also wanted to move on from the whole space thing because I feel like it was getting heated. He <laughs> space. Out space. Oh, no. Ow. space. That was fun. Space. Oh, space. Great. But like space. 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 <laughs> Golden, when the fuck are you gonna play Portal 2 so we can make that joke? You can't because you it's can't. a 3D game. Man, out yeah. yeah. Oh. Alright. Um. Yeah, fine, then. Well, then and just play high end games. Listen, trust me. Listen, trust you just me, got held Valve. I don't care that you broke your elbow, and there you go. Trust me, I would <laughs> love to do a lot of more, like, like, more complex games. Like, I would especially love to do, like, Uno and Golf with Your Friends. Uno! 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 It's gonna break Logic's microphone again. And Uno, two, dos. <laughs> but yeah, Golden's <laughs> only, res unfortunately, restricted to only like 2Ds and whatnot, from like SNES and NES yeah. and NES era. How long have you been playing this game for? Um, too long. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer! 
Ask you your dance. God damn it, you piece of shit. You thought it was going to be a short game, but you were wrong. Yeah. <laughs> it's 120 hours long. The right. fuck that, dude? <laughs> so is he playing Skyrim and doing all the all the side quests? Oh, oh no, I cannot do freaking Skyrim. Have you ever about? even tried playing Skyrim before? Yes, and I ran into the same problem that I had with other games like Mass Effect and Majora's Mask. Oh, you're supposed to do this? Well, why didn't the game tell me that? Oh. oh. Oh, I hate those. Yeah, I tried playing it too, and I ran into the same problem, and I got yeah. frustrated, and my ADD kicked in, and I'm like, this, this is not fun. This is boring. <laughs> this yeah. sucks. No, that's the thing. No, you should play on your free time. No, that's the thing that, that I have issue with, with a lot of these popular titles, and I'm like, what is it that people find appealing about it? And every time I complain about it, they say, oh, they're not here to hold your hand. Um... Okay, you can at least lay, like, some kind of hint or something. I was about to say, doesn't the Skyrim journal have a way that you can flag certain quests you're on? And it'll have, like, a guiding mark, like, How was I supposed to know there was a journal? <laughs> you click the start You, you research the journal. There's my quest. boy. It's a quest list. It's there every time you click yeah, ask around. I, we shouldn't have to ask around, though, is our point. Yeah. Dude, yeah. Need menu and there it is. Ninja went around playing Dark Souls with Solar and freaking Umbra, and he was fine. Asking I guess he was committed to this type of game then, because these aren't the games for us, Goldie. <laughs> yeah, no. And don't get me started on Kingdom Hearts. Uh, I mean, okay. Uh, now I'm not gonna start on Kingdom Hearts because I know I probably won't be able to be patient enough for it. But I can admire its artwork. I can admire the design. I can get behind you on that, yeah. It really is. It really is just fan fiction with production value. And, uh, Myth, you know this one, because Solar turned it into a meme. Uh, the story does not make any logical sense, but I argue that isn't the point. It makes emotional sense. Because somehow everything in it just feels emotionally correct, even though the story itself is, like, a hot mess that contradicts itself yeah. every which way and is pretentiously oh. confusing. I just don't want to get involved with the series because there's just too many. It's Kingdom Hearts 2.733373. It's Kingdom Hearts right. 4.7558. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Kingdom Hearts point oh two chapter prologue. O2 oh, chapter prologue, broken mirror, one shoe doesn't fit the other, 2.8. Um, okay, real Man. names. Birth by sleep, yeah. dream drop distance. <laughs> And of course, you're gonna forget the classic Kingdom Hearts 3.147784441583. Oh, right, right. Three, <laughs> right, 358 over two do days. Yeah, I know which one you're talking about, Aeon. I played that one. I was. 